We begin the broadcast tonight with an unusual property dispute brewing between neighbors along Nova Scotia's St. Margaret's Bay. On the one side are longtime residents of Hackett's Cove. On the other, a well-known entertainer who just happens to come from one of the Maritime's wealthiest and most prominent families. CTV's Bruce Frisco has the story. Amy Johnson doesn't do a lot of beach walking these days. With her first baby due in May, it's not exactly tops on her priority list. Amy's roots run deep in Hackett's Cove. She grew up surrounded by family members and even has a street named after her. These days, though, she says everyone's talking about a relatively new neighbor. It's the main topic of conversation around here. Blessed with a powerful voice and an ear for music, Eleanor McCain has made her own way in the world, although coming from one of the wealthiest families in the country probably didn't hurt. Eleanor bought some property not far from her mother's summer home and built her own place. Neighbors were fine with that, but their backs went up when Eleanor blocked land access to a popular local beach. The well-worn path cuts right through her property and it's now off limits. I'm feeling pretty heartbroken that uh, somebody would come into the community and take something from someone for absolute no reason other than selfishness. It might not be very neighborly, but it seems Eleanor McCain is well within her rights. According to the Nova Scotia government, all beaches are owned by the Crown and are considered public lands, but access isn't guaranteed. A landowner has a right to restrict access across his or her property. In a statement to CTV News, Eleanor McCain says she's simply trying to enjoy the property peacefully. The trespassers and vandals have made that impossible. She says she raised concerns in a reasonable manner, but was largely ignored. So she called the police. She also provided us with photos of garbage, mutilated trees and campfires, all on land she bought and paid for. Still, none of this sits well with people in the area who say other entertainers have been far more flexible. There's another beach right here in Indian Harbor, and that's the village that used to belong to uh, Ann Murray when she lived there, and she allowed access to the beach the whole time she lived there also. Amy Johnson has resigned herself to even fewer beach walks in the months ahead. She'd hoped to bring her firstborn to the spot where she'd spent so much time as a child, but now thinks that won't happen. Something she says just isn't fair. Nature should be shared, and it's not something that anybody owns. The coastline doesn't belong to anybody. But the path to it is another matter entirely. And, uh, you know, Amy told us today she believes uh, Eleanor McCain fell in love with the property as a child, like so many others did who grew up there. Eleanor McCain, for her part, tells us the previous owner of the property had similar problems and took steps to keep trespassers away. But clearly, Steve, a lot of people think of it as their beach, and they don't see anything wrong with using that same old path to get to it. Interesting story. Bruce, thank you for leading us off here tonight. CTV's Bruce Frisco in the News Center.